With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So other question is the electronic configuration of the four elements L, P, Q and R are given in brackets. Here, their electronic configuration is given. We have to find the formula of the any compound that can be formed between the elements. So first of all, what we have to know, what is the ionic compounds? Ionic compounds are those compounds which has been formed by the transfer of the electrons. So here, what it has been given, if we try to just write the electronic configuration of the L, so it is 1H2, 2H2, 2P4. And we know that the P orbital can contain maximum 6 electrons. So here, its valency will be 2. Valency is the number of electrons gained or lost in order to complete its octet that is total number of electrons in the valence cell. So here in order to complete its octet here we are having 2s and 2p as a valence cell. So here the s uh, can contain maximum 2 electrons and the p subcell can contain maximum 6 electrons. So in order to complete its octet there must be the addition of 2 electrons that is its valency will be 2. Similarly, what we are having, we are having P. In this case, what happened? It is it has been given 1H2, 2P6, 3S1. Now here, if one electron loss takes place, so in this case, what happens? There will be the electronic configuration like this. It will have P positive and it will have 1H2, 2P6. And here we can easily say that it has complete its valence electron. So from here, what we can say that it's valency will be equal to 1. Now if you try to just know about the electronic configuration of Q, it will be 1H2, 2H2, 2P6, 3H2, 3P5. Now what happens? In order to complete its octet, there is a need of one electron. So here what we can say that its valency will be equal to 1. If you try to write the val uh, electronic configuration of R, so it will be what? It will be 1H2, 2H2, 2P6, 3H2. Now what happens? If it releases two electrons, then its electronic configuration becomes 2H2, 2P6, which is complete in nature. So from here, what we can say that their valency will be equal to 2. Now important point to be remembered is that if we want to write the ionic formula of the uh, electrovalent compounds, suppose we are having the element, it is P, and q for example and here we are having valency so what happens here we have to write the valency of p that is one q that is one so what happens in order to just write the ionic formula so we have to multiply it and we get p1 q1 which can be simplified as written as pq so this is the way we can write now here if you try to check the relationship between l and p so in this case what we are having the valency of L is given that is uh, here it is 2 and of P is given 1. So from here we can say that it will be LP2. LP2 will be the ionic formula. So here if you check the option, so here LP2 is given and in all these cases it has been not given. So this is the correct option third is correct. But if we check all the options that it will be here the formula of R will be what? So here we are having R, we are having L and here valency of R is 2 and L of 2. So from here what we can say that it will be 2, 2. If on cross multiplication they will be R2 and L2. Or you can say that in simplification manner LR. Or you can say that RL. So from here what we can say that it will have uh, RL. Okay, that's fine. If you try to know about the PQ, so here we are having P, we are having Q and for P we are having 1, for Q we are having 1 as a valency. So its uh, valence electron will be PQ or the ionic formula will be PQ. So here it is PQ is given. Now if in case of a RQ2 we are having R and Q. Here we are having the valency of R is 2 and Q of 1. On solving it what we will get? We will get RQ2. So from here what we can say that? Our third option is correct. I hope you got this concept. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.